Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It is time for the latest and the most comprehensive breakdown of the biggest news stories in Western Visayas here in Banai News Tonight. The city of Cabancalan in Negros Occidental recorded its first casualty from coronavirus disease. The patient was a 34-year-old woman and resident of the city's Barangay 6, according to Mayor Pedro Zaiko. She started coughing and had difficulty breathing on October 12. The next day, the patient went to a private hospital for consultation and was referred for x-ray in a government hospital before being allowed to return home. On the morning of October 14, the patient was rushed again to the hospital. Her condition, however, deteriorated and she passed away later in the evening. Prior to her passing, the patient underwent reverse transcription and polymerase chain reaction test. The result was released on October 16. The mayor said the patient had no pre-existing health conditions and travel history outside of the city. The woman was immediately buried. As of October 18, Cabancalan City had a total of 292 confirmed COVID-19 cases, 162 of which were active, while 129 have recovered. Governor Arthur Defensor Jr. of Iliilo wants residents of the province who are visiting or working in the city of Iliilo to strictly practice reverse isolation upon returning home. Citing the latest data from the Provincial Health Office, the governor said 65% of COVID-19 cases recorded in various towns could be traced to those who came back from the city. For stricter reverse isolation, Defensor issued Executive Order 183C, amending his previous orders for such. He encouraged individuals from areas in Iliilo City considered as high risk to COVID-19 exposure to practice the 3M strategy or magmascara, magdistanja, kagmaghinaw once they are home in any of the 42 towns are the component city of Pasi. Reverse isolation should be observed by those who have had prolonged stays in hospitals, health facilities, or workplaces in Ililila City, since COVID-19 transmission appeared to be more pronounced in these areas. Other reverse isolation measures under Defensor's latest EO were the following. The Regional Interagency Task Force approved the request of Gimaras Province and three towns in Iliilo Province for a moratorium on the return of locally stranded individuals. RIATF Resolutions No. 48 and 49 suspended the arrival of LSIs in Gimaras and Iliilo towns Haniwai, Oton, and Pavia respectively. The province of Gimaras specifically requested the National IATF for a week-long moratorium beginning today for assessment, repositioning, and consolidating limited resources to cater to the arrival of LSIs. Haniwai, in a letter dated October 9 addressed to the province of Iliilo and the RIATF, requested for a 14-day moratorium from October October 10 to October 24, while Pavia's request is a moratorium from October 19 to November 2. Their requests have been granted and the approved dates for suspension of arrivals of LSIs are from this Monday to November 2. Aton's seven-day timeout, on the other hand, will also take effect today until October 25. In requesting for the timeout, the three municipalities cited their quarantine facilities reaching full capacity. After the moratorium for the approved period, the suspension on the arrival of LSIs is deemed lifted. And those were tonight's latest headlines. This is Panay News, the number one digital and printed news in the region. Don't forget to always wear face masks and face shields. Sanitize your hands and observe proper physical distancing. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Also subscribe to our YouTube channel. Stay safe, Western Visayas. See you again tomorrow evening.